welcome to this accessibility tool discovery video on guided access. Guided access, like all other accessibility features, is found in the settings app. Guided access limits your device to a single app and lets you control which features are available. You can turn on guided access when you let a pupil use your device or when accidental gestures might distract you. If I go into settings, accessibility, scroll down to the bottom, you can see guided access. When I swipe guided access on, I have options I can customise, including a passcode. You can change the passcode each time to prevent accidental quits of a guided access session. Set a passcode, re-enter to confirm, and then on devices with a home button, you can enable Touch ID, or on devices with no home button, you can enable Face ID. With time limits, you can have a sound played at certain times, or you can have the remaining time spoken aloud using one of the speak selection voices. You can also customise the quick launch of a guided access session by using the accessibility shortcut. To start a guided access session, open the app that you want. On devices with no home button, use the side or sleep wake button to start a session or triple click the home button. If you want parts of your screen to stop responding to touch, use one finger to circle those areas. You can move or resize, or you can tap the X to remove it. There are various other options you can use. This ensures that the screen is still being used in some way, but also that accidental touches don't spoil the session. If you wish to enable additional options, tap options in the bottom corner to customise each session. You can disable or enable motion, you can disable the keyboard, you can make the entire screen stop responding to touch, and you can set a time limit. Once you are happy with these, tap resume or start in the top corner. You are then able to navigate through the page or app as you would normally, but with various options disabled. As this is a web page, we have left the section at the top to enable Reader View enabled. If someone accidentally in enters an incorrect passcode, Guided Access will disable for 10 seconds. No one can do anything to end the session until this time has elapsed. If a passcode is entered incorrectly again, the time will increase and will continue to increase each subsequent time. When the time limit in Guided Access expires, the screen will lock. To end the session, triple click the home button and re-enter the correct passcode. You can then add additional options, increase the time limit, or press end to finish the session. Go back into your settings app and swipe guided access off. This will ensure no accidental starts of a session. For more information, go to XMA dot co dot uk forward slash apple dash accessibility to learn more. Here you will find information and tips for using Apple tools and accessibility features to support individuals with special education needs.